Well, where are we at today? <laughs> it isn't a good thing. Y'all stay tuned. What's up, what's up everybody? Trust Trucker coming at you here, yep. Way down here in Hot Miami. Buddy, it was a nice, I would say crisp, but it was nowhere near crisp. 85 degrees at 7.30 this morning, and guess what? At 5.30 this morning, my AC compressor took a dump. It took a dump. It absolutely decided that, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm just gonna take and shoot out all the Freon out the freaking, like a relief valve or something in the back of the compressor. Not good. Blew everything, all my coolant out, all over the freaking exhaust pipe, all over the freaking leaf spring running down. So, no AC. But, there was a positive side. I have not run the line. I was gonna run a new line from my APU to the ignition because when they installed my APU at Thermo King and Ringgold, they didn't uh, they didn't hook it up to the ignition. They used the fuse box back there in the sleeper. Well, when you turn the key backwards, it kills the APU. When you turn the key forward, it kills the AC. The, AC. the whole thing is set up so that the whole fuse panel is on no matter which direction you turn the key. So like if I want to, they pew on, but I want to turn the thing, the key backwards so I can look at my axle gauge. Or if I want to turn the key back so I can listen to the radio while I load or unload or something, it's just the APU off. So I was going to run a wire to that. Good thing they didn't do that, or I haven't done it yet because I pulled the fuse out the fuse box where it was tapped into pull that out so my APU is running all the time while I drive so now I've got the AP running while I drive to give myself some AC granted it's not as cool as the truck running but it, at least it gives me something in the meantime until I get the AC fixed so we'll show you where I'm at all right everybody we are here at Placida's AC car and truck AC and I granted you know we're here this is a facility uh oh the guy's here let me go up here and look at it I'll be right back now all right y'all he was in here giving it a look-see we'll show y'all as y'all can see cool it's all right here but it was actually blowing out from this port right there I guess that's like a relief valve and as y'all can see we have my cool freon freon ball down there on the ground but yeah it was just pouring from that freaking like i guess that's a check valve or a relief valve right there but that's where it was all poured from But here we are. This is Placidas. I, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Placidas car and car and semi AC repair. As y'all can see, there's a boatload of cars here. But yes, we got old Black Beauty already having issues <laughs> and only pulled technically four loads and already having issues. Not a good start to the truck, but hey, that's why it's a good thing that I'm down here with this so I can try to go ahead and get everything fixed on it before driver gets in it. And, you know, I've replaced these lights I don't like that, that reflector part, but until they come out with a new light that doesn't have that, the clear lens looks better than the whole thing being amber. But we got our door lights again, you know. We 
we have these bad boys here. So yeah, I've been working on my truck, y'all. And thank God I have an a APU on this truck. The APU is a big freaking help. Big help. Alright, they're testing the truck truck next to me. Alright everybody. But yeah. So I'm actually having fun. I got a new gimbal. Stabilizing gimbal for my GoPro. So we're trying that out on this video. This is the first video using the the gimbal, so but it's a little wishy-washy hey ass because I'm still working it. I'm still learning the joystick and all that. It's still a good playful thing to try, so hey. I'm trying to do things to improve my videos, y'all. <sighs> but we will keep y'all updated on what's the story on this truck. Hopefully we can get it today, y'all. And we will catch y'all in a little bit with an update. All right, everybody, here we go. So, one thing they're saying is that the fan clutch isn't engaging all the way, so that's causing everything to overheat and causing more pressure. Also, we have a leaking O-ring right here. Freon's leaking all there. But he thinks he's just building up pressure. So they're gonna go ahead and replace the parts on the inside of the fan hub. Um, replace the parts in here recharge it and then we're going to see how that works and if the compressor needs to be replaced then they'll replace the compressor but they are getting on that right now so hopefully we will have this bad boy done today um they're gonna go ahead and get started right now so uh so could y'all get that done he's like yeah we'll get started right now like thank you so hopefully that is all it is, um, but yeah. So the fan hub has a part part to do with it, they're saying. Um, and that's what they specialize in here. So hopefully everything's right. Hopefully, you know, since I'm an English speaking dude, we're not being taken advantage of, because, but hey, I'm gonna get benefit of the doubt. I'm not gonna throw shade on anybody. This is all they specialize in is, is car and truck AC. So that's what they say that we're gonna go for it because I know I can spin the fan. So we're gonna check that out and that's the update y'all. We'll let you know later on. Peace out. Well y'all, she is being worked on right now. I'm uh, thinking he's charging it back up right now. I'm a guessing anyway, so we shall see. Uh, hopefully this all works out well. I uh, hope so, because I need some AC, y'all. You know what I mean. All right, everybody, we have AC. Nice and cold AC at that. He's a wrapping her up. We got it going. We're cold. We'll see how this holds up. Everybody, y'all have y'all safe, blessed day. Stay cool, and we'll see y'all next video, y'all. Peace out. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go.